guys, so today I'm going to be doing a planner starter kit video, which this was really, really requested. I know that everyone's gonna be like, you're doing so many planner videos, but honestly, these are really, really requested and people just really like them. And this video in particular, I talked about in my question and answer video. I asked if you guys wanted to see it and the response was like overwhelming, like everyone wanted to see it. And then I was getting a bunch of tweets so you know what, I'm just gonna do it today. The first thing that you need in a planner starter kit, if you're brand new to planner, is a planner. Who would have thought though? And the one that I am absolutely in love with is my Erin Condren. I have videos on this, I've used this for a couple of years. I have an entire planner playlist, which I will link below. It starts with a video called 101, or it's Glam Planning 101, yeah. And um, that video goes into so much detail on everything, so that is the one that I would like start with. If you are not an Erin Condren girl, if you want more of like the Filofax binder style planner, the one that I really like that's very girly is by Kiki K. This is the Kiki K Large Time Planner, and she has three different sizes that coordinate with the Filofax, like three main sizes. The next thing that I want to talk about are pens. So my all-time favorite pins and the pins that I use in my planner and have for a long time are the Stadler Trip Plus Fine Liner pins. I've been using the black one exclusively for the past couple weeks, but in my original Erin Condren, the very first one, I used all of the colors of pins and I pretty much just did color coding exclusively. I didn't, I did use a little bit of washi tape, but I didn't really have stickers. I didn't know about the planner community. I was just kind of doing it on my own and colored pins were my best friend. This is a pack of 20, they also offer like packs of six. You can find them on Amazon for cheaper, but they also carry them at Target. I also really like the Pilot G2 in the 1.0. This is the bold one. They also have a 0.7 and a 0.5, but I really like a bolder tip, so I like the 1.0. It only comes in black and blue, which is sad. The 0.7 comes in like a bunch of colors, but I just love the way this one writes, and so I have a few of these lying around as well. I have this bag right here. It has my name on it. This is from my little shop called Glitzy Glam, and this is actually a makeup bag. It's marketed as a makeup bag. I have used this as a makeup bag literally for years. Not this exact one, but I've had one of these waffle weave makeup bags like in my videos for years because they are really, really good. They hold a ton of stuff and they're good quality. Like they last for as long as you want them to last until you're ready to get a new one. This one I actually made the silver and the turquoise was part of a package that I put together for my friend's wedding. I was a bridesmaid and I made all of the bridesmaids packages from Glitzy Glam and we did like makeup bags for everyone with this silver metallic and the silver metallic ribbon. We had matching keychains and then we also had personalized wine glasses in the colors and the girls loved them. Like it was just so cute. So I decided to use my own for my planner bag because I already have one that I'm using for my makeup bag. I will link these below if you guys want to check them out. They come in lots of colors, lots of different thread options and my my mom like hand makes all of them. She monograms them. So like, it's like a homemade shop, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys like the things that I think are like the basics that you need if you're starting out, if you're going to Target, going to Walmart, and you wanna know like what you should put on your list so that you can have a nice planning session, this is it. First things first, you need scissors. If you needed scissors and you didn't have scissors, everyone owns scissors, right? Like why am I going so, this one's from Target, it's like a pretty metallic pair and it's big and it's very sharp. Some whiteout, I like the whiteout that comes inside this little, like I don't like liquid whiteout, I like whiteout that's tape like this. This is the Bic whiteout, easy correct. I also have a little similar contraption. This is the Scotch adhesive roller and it looks kind of the same, but instead of being white out, this is just tape. And so you can like tape down anything that you want that doesn't have a lot of adhesive. These washi tapes that come, well, they're like little colored tapes and they come in lots of different colors. This is the pastel set and this is the neon set. I got these online. I don't know, I know that I got a pastel set once from Hobby Lobby. It's either Hobby Lobby or Michaels, but I don't see these everywhere. Sometimes craft places will have it, but I got these online. You can get them on Amazon. They're not very expensive. I will link a link below to where you can get these. Another thing that I love are the little like kawaii sticky notes and stickers that you can get on Amazon or eBay or even some Etsy stores, but mostly Amazon is where I found that you can find like the cutest sticky flags and stickers. These are little llamas, which I got as a joke because um, I call Alex my llama sometimes. The same place I got those, I got these cute little stickers 
These are like little Japanese deco stickers and these ones have cats all over them but they have ones with pigs, they have ones with like little girls and it's like six pages of just tons of stickers for like a couple of dollars. If you want inexpensive but really cute stickers for your planner, these like deco stickers are the best I think. I love the cat ones, like I've hoarded these, I haven't used them because I just think they're so cute but I will link below where you can get these stickers as well because they're really inexpensive. The only thing is they take forever to get to you because they do really inexpensive shipping time. It can take like 26 days for you to get your order when you order from those little Japanese like artsy stores, but it's worth it because it's good quality and it's very inexpensive. And the last thing I have in here is an X-Acto knife, which is good for like exact precise cutting of washi tape. Before I did the, um, bookmark trick with my washi tape, I used to go in with an X-Acto knife and do it, which was like a little bit sketchy because like you could cut your paper or like your finger, but I have that in there anyway. I got this little one at Hobby Lobby. The last thing are stickers. You guys know that stickers are the way that I choose to decorate. I love my stickers. The way that I store my stickers are in these like little accordion medium sized files that I get from the dollar spot of Target and they come in like tons of patterns. Like I have this one, pink, I have like a blue chevron kind of design. I have a bunch of black and white ones. They just come out with these constantly. These are actually a lot easier to find than anything else in the dollar section. But inside I like to separate by Etsy store. So that's just easier for me because I buy from a lot of different Etsy stores and I tend to remember if I buy a sticker, I tend to remember who I bought it from. If you are a beginner planner and you wanna buy some stickers off Etsy but you don't really know where to begin, I recommend getting a monthly kit. That is, in my opinion, the easiest way to decorate a spread or more than a couple spreads within a month. There's a couple of stores that do this. This is July's color collection from Scribble Prints Co. I also have a couple of other shops collections, like for instance, this is July from Carolina's Crafts. She has like a whole big slew of things, um, different stickers. I mean, hers comes with like a ton of stickers, but these range in price and they range in the amount of stickers you get, but they do do them in the colors that come in the monthly Erin Condren. So if you're an Erin Condren user, stickers from Etsy are gonna be like made for your planner everywhere. Pretty much everyone does Erin Condren stickers. And these kits are just great because they come with an assortment of different things that you would need, especially if you're not gonna be a super heavy planner like I am in terms, or a heavy decorator rather, um, in terms of just putting stickers everywhere all over your page. This would last you the entire month. If you just go on Etsy and you search for something like July planner kit, a ton of different shops are gonna come up at different price points, then you can look through and kind of see the one that really is gonna fit in with your decorating style. I know Scribble Prints is closed right now. She's doing like a whole revamping of her store because she was getting too many orders as it was, but there are just tons of stores that do similar things. So that was everything for my planner starter kit. If you're a planner and there's anything that I didn't mention that you think is like a must have for beginners, write it in a comment below so that other people can see it and kind of like incorporate that into their shopping wish list if they want to start like doing this whole planning trend. Give this video a thumbs up if you like planner videos and I will see you guys with my next video. Bye.